We're here. We made it home, guys. We are back in Nebraska and we have exciting news. Next Sunday, we want you guys to join us for a YouTube live because yes. we have super exciting news and we want our Eat, Move, Rest fam to be the first to know. Yes, we'll be going live next Sunday, 12 p.m. Central Time. You have to be there. Okay, you guys, good morning. It is, drum roll please, packing day. <laughs> so we are usually last minute packers. And when I say we, I mean Aaron. It literally takes me 20 minutes to pack. I don't care if I'm packing for two days or two months. It takes me no time. But whose idea was it to start the packing process for five days early? This person right here. Right. You guys don't want to see what we're packing for clothes or maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> but what we're going to talk about is how to pack food, how to stay healthy while you travel. This is something, you know, from Costa Rica retreats and all the traveling we've done over the years, we've learned how to do really well. Because travel, vacation is always more than just the time you're away from home. It's that time leading up to leaving and the time when you get back home. Travel or vacation time should be a time where you get to come home feeling even better, right. not worse. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, I we used to always say, I feel like I need a second vacation now that I'm back home because I'm so sleep deprived. That's how it used to be for us. But now we actually use travel as a time to rest, to rest our best, to take the extra time to sleep in because like we're on vacation, right? And it's changed our lives. It's mm -hmm. no longer making us super anxious to travel and go on trips but we look forward to it because we get to treat ourselves. So we're gonna bring you through all of our systems or our process to stay, like I said, dialed in every step of the way. Okay, so suitcase. I've got one dry goods snack bag for the airplane and another one for our week at our final destination. Actually, it's 11 days, so we've got a lot of stuff. So for the stuff I'm bringing on the plane, I've got some Scout bars and crunchy chickpeas are another favorite, super iron and protein rich and flavorful. And then when we get there, I've got a whole bunch of extra Scout bars. I've got our supplements in here. When we travel, we really, really place a heavy emphasis on staying dialed in with our rest and digest. I've got this really awesome little pill pouch that works really great, especially for like extended stays. So my top two for digestion are probiotics and then the magnesium. Top two for rest are herbal teas and magnesium breakthrough. Favorite sleepy time tea that we've been using for years is Earth Mama's Peaceful Tea. Oh, what the heck? Sick, I have my dad's underwear in here. I must have forgotten to give it to him in July. Washed it to bring it home. Hopefully I don't forget this time. Step number one, make sure the refrigerator is empty and clean. Let's do it. So pretty much everything in the doors and the drawers will last with the exception of a few things. I'm gonna leave our apples and our lemons and limes and ginger and turmeric. So with the greens, we'll probably juice or blend half of them and then rinse and freeze the other half. So we'll have greens on hand to blend when we get home for smoothies and the berries. So we have some rinsed for travel. We'll eat some of these and then rinse and freeze whatever we don't for smoothies. So then we've got our leftovers so we don't have to cook tonight since we're busy packing. What we'll do is we'll make something really hearty, eat half and freeze half so that we have a dinner when we're coming home. Worst case, if we don't have like a frozen meal prepared, we can always just come home throw our bags down and blend a really good like acai bowl with our leftover berries and all that stuff. Part of this is going easy at the grocery store, not overstocking the refrigerator the week of travel. So typically we will do a little bit of a lighter haul. So anything that might go bad, like our broccoli, our cauliflower, our mushrooms, all that jazz, bell peppers, we will typically chop and add into a big hearty red lentil soup or stew. Number two, freeze things that you can eat when you get home your berries, your greens, and some leftovers. Even our sprouted breads, they will go bad very quickly. That's actually a sign that your bread is a very clean, healthy bread option. So it will mold if we leave it in the fridge. This is another great one to pop in the freezer. We always do that and then just use the defrost setting on the toaster whenever we need a slice. Number three, things that we pack for the flight. You guys know we love our fast food or as we call it, fast fruit. So nature's pre-packaged, 
produce that is easy to take on the go, especially with kids that can get messy. So apples, oranges, and bananas are always a staple on our flights. And then I do love my berries. They get kind of smushy and mushy in the stasher bags. So sometimes we will bring like a regular Tupperware of some sort to put berries in. Grapes always keep the kids busy as well. Got carrot sticks that I'm actually gonna transfer into a stasher bag. I'm also gonna chop some celery and cucumber sticks as well. And then I'll also bring like a small little tin with hummus in it. So I'll put everything in the stasher bags and pop it in the fridge. So then tomorrow morning when we take off, we can just throw it into our cooler bag. And number four, so this is probably the most critical staple that we travel with. The night before I'll make some type of baked goods like our muffins or my superfood brownies. I decided since it's fall, I'm feeling kind of festive. I'm gonna do some gingerbread muffins or another option is we just make extra pancakes or waffles the morning before that are easy because they're nice and flat and compact to put in a stasher bag. There was actually one trip leaving my parents' house. I had made like 12 pancakes and Max ripped open. They flew all over the airplane floor and we were sitting in the front row, like literally right next to the bathroom. And there's like, uh-uh, no way I am touching those pancakes on that section of the floor especially. <laughs> I actually surveyed my audience on Instagram, would you eat these or not? And I was actually surprised, like there were people who said yes. It was like 30% yes. <laughs> would you eat pancakes that fell on an airplane floor? Comment below. Okay, so our muffins are done. The house smells incredible. We have so many different reusable silicone Ziploc bags in all shapes and sizes. These come in so handy when we're flying. I'll pop a bunch of the muffins in here. We also keep fruit in here, all of our snacks essentially. They also help when we are at our final destination, just on the go, easy to bring with us, reusable, eco-friendly. Number five, get a good sturdy cooler bag to bring on the plane. So I have these little like freezer packs and I'll just put those on the bottom, put our muffins in a stasher bag and toss it in. I'll use this size for dried fruit. Usually I'll do pitted dates in one of them and then I'll do dried mulberries and goji berries and like a pumpkin seed, sunflower seed, walnut, almond mix in another one. And then we'll just toss in a handful of wipes and paper towels, as well as our empty water bottles, our apples, all our fruit, Tupperwares, veggies, hummus, everything goes in here because this actually smushes down and fits right under the seat in front of you. Also a good quality water bottle. These come in handy. I love the glass with the silicone protective outer. We got walnuts and sunflower seeds and we're making some trail mix. Woo! Goji berries! Okay, and then our favorite dried fruits are the dried black mulberry variety is insanely high in iron. Goji berries are insanely high in vitamin A as well as iron. Sunflower seeds are great for vitamin E and a little bit of protein and of course healthy fats. And then our sprouted walnuts are a great source of omega-3s and protein. Good little mix here. Oh, and then there's also some pumpkin seeds in here. Just kind of add a little bit of everything. Nice thing is when you buy them individually and make your own, you can be assured that it's not gonna have added sugar or oil because if you buy like those Trader Joe's mixes, good luck finding one that doesn't contain sugar and oil. Not to mention, you are never going to find a store-bought trail mix that has this nutritious of ingredients. Maybe you'll find raisins as the dried fruit or like chopped pineapple, which is fine, but mm, mulberries are such a superfood. I mean, they've got such a high amount of vitamin C plus iron. It's like the perfect pairing to optimize absorption. Mm, we got our vitamin C, our vitamin A, our omega-3s. Vitamin A, and vitamin E are fat soluble. So having those nuts in there really helps. This is such a powerful, powerful trail mix. Coming back into the kitchen to grab my phone and get on Amazon. As much as I hate Amazon, I love Amazon because you can get anything literally shipped overnight. Not quite, but you know how it is. Two day shipping to home. So we're gonna be spending 11 days at Aaron's parents. Instead of packing like 25 tea bags, we're just gonna send a box of tea home. Same thing with oats, 
soy milk. We have the moms go and buy bananas and avocados a couple days ahead of time so they can ripen. So literally, we leave home, we have all of our food packed for eating on the plane and during our layovers. We land and we come home to a pantry full of all the things that we love and need for our essentials. Okay, so what if you're not going to say your parents' house, you're going to a tiny hotel in New York City, which we actually did last December with the kids, which was a blast, but it makes it a little bit harder. So first things first, no matter where we're staying, we make sure that we're in close proximity to a Whole Foods or some sort of organic grocery store like I'm talking walkable. So again, we can buy things like crackers and hummus and berries and bananas, you know, things that are easy to take with you and easy to make in the hotel room. We actually bought instant oatmeal and made oats in the hotel room with like the hot water, like coffee or tea maker. It works, right? You get creative. Definitely go back and watch one of our travel vlogs. Again, the one from this recent December was super good. We also wash berries in the hotel sink. You can rinse them in their plastic containers. We always request a mini fridge to the hotel. So again, it's simple. Most hotels don't even charge for that, but it makes sense and it makes it super easy to, again, have a few things like some snacking carrots and some hummus to dip it in berries and stuff like that and to keep it cold. So anyway, I think we're gonna try to share some footage day of our travel. It's gonna be really hard for me to edit it and get it in the video on time. So there may not be a ton of travel day footage, but we're gonna try to sneak it in. So if you guys like this type of video, definitely let us know in the comments below. If you haven't already, definitely check out the Eat, Move, Rest membership. You guys, this is the community that we've been talking about building for years and years. And for 89 bucks a year, it's dirt, cheap there's over 500 members now so when you ask a question about like how do i go vegan or how do i stay vegan or how do i just get healthier in general you've got like hundreds of people in a facebook group in a private community that can communicate with you give you tips tricks all the things beyond that you have an included subscription to our recipe app you have every single ebook we've ever created with all the recipes the juice fast all those things so many resources for so little you also get a Zoom call with us every single Friday. So super fun. We'd love to see you guys there. Thanks so much for supporting us, for supporting the channel. Can't wait to bring you guys more content. I think we might be going live while we're home next Saturday, so stay tuned. So we are about to hop in the car and head to the airport. We've got our bag of snacks packed. We're gonna be flying for four hours. We've got a two or three hour layover in Denver and then another hour and a half flight. And then it's gonna be like midnight when we get in. We packed for the whole entire day. Here's what we got. Made an extra grip of pancakes. I always add in the paper towels to absorb excess moisture so they don't get soggy. Pitted medjool dates, Mary's Gone crackers. We've got a whole thing of strawberries. We've got our little silverwares. They have the fork and the spoon and the knife all in one. We've got our muffins, gingerbread spiced, superfood mix. I added in some Hue dark chocolate chips, carrot sticks, celery and cucumber sticks, honey crisp apples, two types of grapes, and our container of hummus. Here's our little cold freezer packs on either side just to keep the environment nice and chilled. Holy cow. We're ready to go. <laughs> Are you kids ready to fly? Yeah.